Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm out here in Saudi Arabia and I've got to say I'm delighted for the first time to be joined by Liam Cameron. Liam, you've had, what, maybe three days here in Saudi Arabia? How are you finding it? It's good, you know. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, be nice if you weren't fighting, you'd be able to enjoy it, but uh, strictly business, isn't it? Strictly business. I know you're eyeing up all that pastry over there in that coffee shop, but listen, after your fight, when you can indulge a little bit. That, that food in that buffet is unbelievable. I've got Arabic friends, my family's Arabic, my girlfriend's Arab. So I'm used to that food and it's beautiful. My favourite food at home, we go to Arab Caf. Mm. And this is it ten times over. Well, let's talk about the fight itself. You said yourself, strictly business, and there's uh, nothing more business-like when you're fighting Ben Whitaker. You've got to be on business when you're fighting somebody like Ben because he brings the show, the showmanship, the the antics, um, all that stuff in the ring and outside of the ring. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I, I hope so. I've had altogether 100 fights, sparred hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, 33 years old, old, I think I've seen a lot, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll be ready, 100%. You've seen a lot, but have you seen anything like Ben Whitaker before? Have you been in the ring with anyone like Ben Whitaker? Well, Junior Witter. Kelbrook, I've sparred a lot of guys like that style. Um, there's people in, in that gym what um, are tricky also. I don't know what Ben's going to bring. He might he might come for it this time. Do you think he's going to come for it? Because a lot, he's, he's a Marmite type character, Ben Whitaker. People love his style in the ring, people hate his style in the ring, but either way, that's him. Um, so, do you need to? show Ben that something that he hasn't been shown yet in that pro career, I mean he's yet to be tagged or clipped on that chin yet, do you think you can do that, you think you can get to him and clip his chin and see what he's like when he does get clipped? Well I've never not hit no one <laughs> I've never never not hit no one really and, and get him some damage ever in a fight so I can't see him beat first Are you, are you his toughest test? I've got to be Anna um, I know he's boxed these Russians and that but and what he keeps going on about is box these good amateurs. But that's three minutes. I'd be confident I could last three, three minutes for better be of and jab and move and run. Do you know what I mean? You can do. It's when it gets to them later rounds. It's not good for anyone, them rounds. It finds a lot out. Do you feel like you need to take them into deep waters? Yeah, 100%. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm an unbelievable body puncher. Unbelievable. Um, everyone says it was spars me. Uh, so we'll see. I, just, I hope that's not the game plan, is it? Go at the body? Well, you only can hit body and head, can't you? So <laughs> I'm going to hit either head or body. Definitely. Um, it's well documented what you've been through in your life. Um, and then when you look around you right now, you look at the Saudi Arabia on this huge card and and the whole sort of show that comes with this, did you ever feel like back then that you'd ever be in this, this position right now? I've said this before, um, when, I, when I were a champion and stuff, I thought I was really going to push on and and be a, be a boxing star. Bang come up, it rocked everything ever. I didn't have to come back, but I come back and look where I am. What made you come back? Was it desi desire to be in that ring again? Yeah, it just happened by chance. I just went to the gym and I saw people sparring and I thought, I can get top side of them. And within six weeks, I was sparring one of the best super middleweights in um, in country. Ben Worker seems to like you, though. Some of the comments I've seen on social media, he seems to like you as a person. How do you feel about him? I don't think he is, you know. He said he likes my airline, he likes my teeth, he likes my tattoo. Tell you, I think there's not one person in Saudi Arabia that doesn't like your teeth, Liam. That, I'll give you that's that. Techie, I think it's taking piss. But what hurts me, though, when people say the silver teeth, they're not silver, they're platinum. <laughs> I've got a mate called Ibze, a dentist, and he went, I'll, I asked him, I went, how much for platinum teeth? Went, I'll do them you for free. So they were for free, you know. There you go, listen, can he do my teeth? I know, hopefully. He, yeah, did, he, did, he did Errol Bomber Grahams and all. Did he? Yeah. Um, I seen you when uh, the first day on Monday here when we had the media day and everybody was doing the rounds. Uh, 
I, I, I looked over at you when Bert Beer was doing the interview. It seemed like you were sizing up Bert Beer, were you? Yeah, sizing him up, weren't I? Do you know what it is? I, I, when at the um, pre first press conference, I thought he's tiny, him. He's proper tiny. But then he looks a bit bigger, fight week. He's, a, he's big, innit? He's a big dude. Um, do you know what it was? We went for breakfast over there, so I've got Berta Beer on left of me, just eating. I got Eddie Ann and Frank sat at cider as um, they used to have a conversation like we're mad. Yes, and that's, this is the boxing world, man. Do you know what I mean? Especially in this Saudi Arabia when you're all in the same hotel, it's like you can't escape anyone. You're going to bump into Ben Wicker, you're going to bump into Bevel and Berta Beer and Eddie Hearn. And, and I suppose that's the fun side of boxing because you're around your opponent all week and it comes Saturday night for 36 minutes or 30 minutes, however long it may be, you're going to punch lumps out of each other. Yeah, do you know, me and Ben ain't get each other eye to eye, to be fair. Do you know me, I, I, I'd, I'd go up and shake his hand and stuff, but he don't seem the type what's, what's bothered. So if I get a vibe of that, I, I won't even look at you, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's, whether I can be his friend or not, it don't, it don't bother me either way, before or after the fight. I've got to ask, there's, there's no great time to be a light heavyweight, it seems, right now, because... You just look at Willie Hutchison and Buatzis and the and the Dan Aziz and the Anthony Yard is back. You've got Ben Whitaker, you've got yourself, and then you've got this undisputed clash up with Bevel and Bert Biev. So it'll be remiss of me not to get your opinion on Bevel and Bert Biev. What's your thoughts on that one? I just don't see how Bevel's gonna keep untagged for 12 rounds. It's a danger. It's a danger at all time. I think. It can empty tank, um, better be of, it can go from 1 to 12 and he'll just keep, what he did to Callum Smith were unbelievable, no one's ever done that to him and I've actually fought Callum in amateurs um, and he's good, he's big, he can punch and it was an easy fight for him, weren't it? You're going for Bertie Biev then? Yeah. yeah. Stoppage or decision? I think late stoppage. stoppage. One final one before I let you go and enjoy that Saudi Arabian sunshine out there. Liam, what is going to happen Saturday night? You never know. Do you know if I could predict boxing, I'd be very rich because I'd be betting all the time. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. I go in with an open mind and I hope for the best. Um, I'm not one of these fighters who goes, oh, I'm going to knock him out, I'm going to do this, going to do that. Because... We know what we're in for. Ben knows deep down this is an hard fight. He's, he's trained his heart up. But, yeah, it's going to be a good fight. Liam, I won't keep you much longer. I'm looking forward to this fight, man. And it's, I'm looking forward to the whole card, mind you. But listen, like I said to you, go and enjoy the rest of the day if you can. And I'll see you at the media workout tonight. Thank, Thank you very you. much, brother. Thank you very much. Cheers.